In 2022, VinFast signed an agreement with two financial institutions to raise $4 billion in bonds for business investment and factory construction in the U.S. Which one of the factors bring this contract to be signed? That is the globalization of capital markets. But first, let's find out what is a capital market. Capital markets is a financial market where long-term security suggests stock bonds and other financial instruments are traded between investors and borrowers. What if you want to buy security from other countries? How can you tackle your design? Up to now, all things will be more comfortable than before thanks to the globalization of capital markets. Globalization of the capital markets refers to the process of integrating financial markets and enabling the free flow of the capital across borders. This means that Investors can buy and sell financial assets from anywhere in the world and companies can raise capital by issuing securities in international markets. According to a report by IMF, the globalization of capital markets has continued to progress over the past few decades, with international capital flows increasing rapidly in the 1990s and the early of 2000s before slowing down following the global financial crisis of 2008 to 2009. And now, let's take a deep consideration to how the globalization of capital markets is demonstrated. First, globalization of capital markets increased cross-border capital flows, allowing investors to invest in different countries and regions. This has led to an increase in cross-border capital flows, including portfolio investment, as investors seek to diversify their portfolio and access new markets. For example, you can buy a bond issued by the U.S. government, while a European investor can buy a bond issued by the Vietnam government. This transaction can be conducted quickly and efficiently through electronic trading platforms. Next, the globalization of the capital markets has led to the rise of the global financial centers such as New York, London, Hong Kong, Tokyo, and so on in order to meet the needs of financial services. They serve as a center for capital market activities such as stock exchange and bond markets and offer a wide range of financial products and services including banking, investment, and insurance. These institutions have a global reach and operate in different countries, providing financial services to clients across the world. For instance, the significant emergence of financial centers recently in Asia, the East Asian region emerged with sale own of South Korea, and Singapore has surpassed Hong Kong to become the continent's largest financial center. The Middle East Financial Center is emerging as a new financial region, especially in the light of the economic growth of the United Arab Emirates and Qatar. Dubai is the largest financial city in the Middle East, with a concentration of many of region leading banks and financial corporations. Abu Dhabi, the capital city of UAE, is also thriving with the emergence of many large financial corporations. The global financial centers make financial markets more integrated than ever. Nowadays, financial markets are connected through various channels such as trade, investment, and information flows. This has led to the formulation of financial regulations, accounting standards, and financial practice. Financial regulations arise to promote financial stability, protect consumer and prevent financial crisis. There are some key financial regulations that we need to know. First one, international financing reporting standards. It is a set of accounting standards that are used by company to prepare their financial statements. These standards are designed to ensure the consistency and transparency in financial report. Secondly, anti-money laundering regulation. It is the regulations that are designed to prevent the process of criminal activity from being laundered. The last one is capital controls. Capital controls regulation are policies that restrict the flow of the capital in and out of a country. They are often implemented in response to financial crisis or to prevent excessive currency violation. Once globalizing, 
there are an increasing number of companies engaging in this process, which means competition is an indispensable factor. With the rise of new technology, increased connectivity, and the removal of barriers to trade and investment, companies and financial institutions are now able to compete on a global scale like never before. The first reason for this increase is that the government in many countries have changed the rules of governing financial intermediaries to allow a broader range of institutions to provide financial service. And the second one is the capital flows have more become mobile and the availability of capital has increased, allowing companies to accept funding from wider pool of investors. In addition, competition has grown among financial institutions. For example, competition between stock exchange, multinational banks, hedge funds like New York Stock Exchange or NADAS are facing competition from new exchanges like Binance, Coinbase or Caracan. These new exchanges offer different products and services to attract investors from all over the world. The globalization of the capital market has so many advantages that create lots of opportunities for investors and companies to connect and make money, right? However, besides those benefits, there are also many risks when it comes to globalization. The most important one is the risk of quotation. It means financial crisis in one country can quickly spread to other parts of the world. Financial markets are highly interconnected, and disruption in one market can have ripple effects across other markets. For example, Asian financial crisis 1997. This crisis began in Thailand in 1997 when the government was forced to devaluate its currency. The devaluation has led to a wave of panic selling in Thai stocks and bonds, which spread to other countries in the region like Indonesia, South Korea, Malaysia, and the Philippines. This led to many negative impacts on the economy like Many businesses fell, the unemployment rate and inflation increased, causing the slowdown in economic growth. The collapse of the housing bubble in the US. The crisis has led to the collapse of Lehman Brothers, one of the largest investment banks in the world. This event has called the financial crisis, economic recession, and many important financial institutions and business are on the edge of fall. The risk has so needs for enhanced risk management, crisis preparation, and coordination among regulators and policy makers at the global level. In conclusion, the globalization of the world capital market has brought about significant changes and changes as well. While it has created new opportunities for investors and companies, it has also increased the complexity and the risks of financial system. In that case, policymakers and market participants need to remain careful and responsive to the evolving dynamics of the global capital market. So, this is the end of the discussion of the manifestation of globalization of financial market. Thank you for listening. Let's like and surprise us for more interesting information.